the LG V20 user here and today I'm doing a video about LG so I'm on Thunderman.com here we have an article here so um I might have some good news for us LG users that uses LG smartphones and uh, hopefully LG will uh, come through with this um thing that going on here so it says here LG software update center hopes to speed up Android update so uh that sounds promising and whatnot and hopefully LG will follow through and give us faster Android updates and whatnot because you know it, it, hey you know we want fucking updates as quickly as possible you know so let's check this out and see what has to say about it it says at its R and D campus in South Korea LG has opened today or Wednesday rather the software upgrade center which was built so that the manufacturer can start providing customers worldwide with faster timeless smartphone operating system and software updates sounds good right yes it does Android users have Android users had to cope with a system that tries to deal with so many different manufacturers and models that that as of February 8.0 and 8.1 together could be found on just 0.11% of active Android handsets. So according to this uh, first paragraph here, according to this um, article here, it says as of February, I guess February 2018, that's when the last data was available whatever and says Android Oreo is only on 0.11% of Android devices actively right now um, DB30 has Android Oreo right now on t I mean on Verizon Sprint and AT&T and T-Mobile V30 should be getting it this week after they had to uh, push it back so the T-Mobile V30 should be getting Oreo this week so if you guys got the T-Mobile V30, you guys should be on the lookout for Oreo. You guys, you guys should get it this week because it's, well, it's, on, it's on almost going to be two weeks since they had to push it back. But anyways, it says the first update to be handed by the software upgrade center will result in Android Oreo being pushed out to LG's current flagship, the LG G6. So, in that paragraph of the, the first sentence of the second paragraph that says the first update to be handled by the software upgrade center was designed Android Oreo for the LG G6 which came out in 2017 and that's that's LG's current flagship phone a uh, current uh, mainstream flagship until the G7 comes out whenever that comes out this year but yeah so the LG G6 will, get in it, will be getting its hands first on this update thing from the update center so that's interesting there so it says that um the g6 should begin the oreo later this month beginning in korea so uh for those of you, you who are in south korea or whatever you guys will get an oreo this month on the lg6 in korea it's interesting so yeah so it says lg's goal is to come up with some kind of Competitive advantage that it can use against Samsung's flagship phones, which have been outselling LG top of the line Android handsets for years. As you guys know, uh, the Ga the Galaxy and the iPhone line are the most popular brands in the world. As you guys know, I mean LG is popular, but it's not as popular as Samsung or Apple. Apple and Samsung phones are the most popular in the world. I don't know what it is, but it is what it is. Um, the manufacturer says that the software update center will help customers to have a consistent user experience with their LG devices by continuously testing the compatibility between software and hardware after updates. So that's uh, pretty good. Uh, here's a uh, quote from CEO LG. Uh, here's a C here's a quote from LG CEO. Uh, I'm not gonna pronounce the dude's name because it's probably gonna butch the fuck out of it. And and he says, aligning after sales support 
with customers needs is a top priority at LG stable and consistent upgrades will demonstrate to our customers that LG smartphones have long and reli have long and reliable lifespans end quote so uh, you know take that take it as you will it says will LG be able to pull us off we don't know but we will have to wait and see guys um it says and even if it does expedite the updating process would it be enough to get customers to buy LG flagships instead of the com competition's models like Samsung or Apple we'll see while we might not know the defin definitive answers to those questions for some time LG believes that its software updates center will make enough of a difference to entice Android buyers to give LG handsets a try. Uh, so basically, what this means, guys, um, LG's so, uh, software update center hopefully will push out um, Android updates faster. I hope so, cause I'm I'm hoping, cause I mean, as you guys probably know, I still have the LG V20. I have it on Verizon. And I'm still on Android 7.8 NuGet. And I still have the February 2018 security patch on Verizon. Um, the V30 already has Oreo on Sprint, AT&T, and Verizon. T-Mobile V30 should be getting it, beginning it this week after it got pushed back two weeks. So just be on the lookout for that whenever uh, T-Mobile and LG decides to push out the update again for the T-Mobile V30. Um, man, like I said, the V30 got Oreo. Um, it's only in the T-Mobile V30. Uh, the G6 doesn't have Oreo yet, though, but so it's beginning it this month in uh, South Korea. That's going to be the first place that's going to get it, because obviously that's um, LG's homeland in South Korea. So, you know, you know, the, you know the LG's going to uh, give Oreo to its um, homeland first before it spreads out worldwide. Um, so it says the LG 6 is going to be the first thing to, to, um, to be handled by this uh, software update center. So we see how that plays out and hopefully, you know, hopefully it will, uh, hopefully it will speed up the process and get updates to other LG phones faster. Um, so uh, the LG G6 should begin the order this month in South Korea. Should be on the lookout for that you guys in South Korea or whatever. Um, and then it should go worldwide after that. Um, um, I heard that the um, LG V20 was supposed to get Oya in March, April 2018, but I don't think we're going to get Oya until maybe, I'm going to say a couple months. Because I think um, the V30 is already in Oya now. Um, like I said, team, like I said, Sprint. Verizon AT&T V30 has Oreo. The T-Mobile V30 is getting Oreo soon because they had to push it back. And then you have the LG 6 getting Oreo. It might be a while for it. It hits the states here to get Oreo on the uh, G6 here state side. And then the V20 will come right after that. I'm 100% sure about that. And then the G5 will get it. And then the G4 won't get Oreo. The G5 will get Oreo. The V20 will get Oreo, we know that. Um just uh just just we're just we're just having to wait here. Uh for us V20 users we have to wait. We're just playing the waiting game, you know what I'm saying? Uh so that um that um paragraph talks about the um G6 and Oreo um this month in South Korea. That gives me indication that we could see it uh, stateside here in May or June for the LG 6 here and stateside to get Oreo, but we we'll, we we'll have to wait and see about that. Um, I don't think the V20 will get Oreo until maybe uh maybe late spring, early summer. That's what I'm thinking. But I heard that it was supposed to um I heard that the V20 was supposed to get Oreo in March, April 2018, and and April is already halfway over already. It's April 16th as of this video recording. And April is already halfway over. 
And I don't think we're going to get it until late spring or early summer for the V20 to get Oreo. That's what I think, but hopefully I'm wrong. Hopefully we'll get it sooner because I'm excited about Oreo. I can't wait to get Oreo on my V20. I'm excited about it. I mean, I've been rocking Sun Pointer ever since I got the phone in November 2016. Uh, the V20 has gotten updates. It's only gotten security updates since it got released uh, back in 2016. It hasn't gotten no software updates. I thought I thought the V20 was going to get 7.1, but I was wrong. I thought we, I thought we would get 7.1 on the V20, but no, I was wrong. I don't see why LG would just update the V20 to 7.1. It really ain't no point. You might as well just go to 7.0, 8.0, and 9.0? Question mark. Um. So I think we'll get um the order update on the V20 late spring or early summer. That's what I think when we'll get the um. Oreo update, but we could get it sooner than that. I'm hoping so. So, um, yeah, hopefully this uh software updates in that some LG will uh, speed up updates for all LG phones, give us faster security updates, give us faster software updates, and hopefully LG will pull this off with the success. Hopefully this will be successful for LG. Um, um, and I'm curious to see how this things will play out for LG. Hopefully they are successful. Um, so in my opinion, um, you know, LG is okay with software updates because when I had the Stylo on Boost, uh, when, when I got the Stylo, it had 5.0, and then when I activated the phone, I got 5.1, and then in January 2016, I got Marshmallow on the Stylo on Boost. So, um, I got two major off software, I got two software updates. On the uh, stylo for boost, and I had it. Um, um, 5.5.1 are, are not that much difference. 6.0 made a big difference. It brought new features to the phone. Um, so I uh, can't wait to get 8.0 on the V20. I'm excited about it. I know some of you guys are as well. Um, I cannot wait to get Oreo on the V20. I cannot wait. I, I'm hoping that this um, software updates on it for LG. Is the success for them? I hope that they'll give us faster updates, security updates, software updates, the whole nine yards. Um, the security updates are very important. You know, they help you, they help to protect your friend and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, hopefully LG will. Uh, hopefully LG will come through with this and keep. You know, hopefully LG is successful with this. Like I said, hope I'm hoping they're successful. We, we have to wait and see how it plays out. It says that the LG G6 will be the first uh, phone to be handled by the software update center. Uh, so we say how, how that plays out, and hopefully, and it says that the G6 will get the Oreo and software uh, later this month. So we'll, we'll, we will have to wait and see about that. But like I said, I'm excited about Oreo for the B20. I think we'll get it in late spring or early summer. Uh, so we have, we we would have to wait. We just all, for the people who have the G6, the V20, the G5, we're just playing the waiting game. The G5 will be the last flagship phone to get an Oreo. The G4 won't get it. The V10 will not get an Oreo. It won't get it. If the V10 gets an Oreo, I, I'll be surprised. If the G4 gets an Oreo, I'll be surprised. So, um, yeah. What do you guys think about the LG? Software updates. Do you guys think this will help LG out? Do you guys think that um, LG will uh, give us faster software updates, or do you think this? You or do you think LG will continue to do what it's doing by giving us slower updates or whatever? Um, so, what do you guys think about this? Uh, the software updates for LG. What do you guys think about it? I think hopefully LG will give us faster updates, security updates, and stuff like that. I'm curious to see how this thing plays out for LG. I'm hoping that they are successful. So we will we will have to wait inside this thing plays out. So um yeah so yeah so if you guys enjoy this video give me a thumbs up guys it really helps me out a lot. Please make sure to subscribe. Thank you very much for watching my video and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.